Welcome to Yoga Nidra, the meditative heart of yoga. As your body begins to settle, you may wish to close your eyes in preparation for engaging this practice. Set your attention free to wander through your senses, noting the sounds around you, the images and thoughts that are passing through your mind, and the feeling of your body. Be aware of your entire body. And as you do this, let my words become your words as we enter into this meditative journey together. I invite you now through this practice to realize the timeless wisdom that lives inside you, your inborn nature, as unchanging heartfelt equanimity or presence that is always present amidst every circumstance of your life. With this realization, you recover your underlying radiant disposition that gives you the strength to meet, greet, welcome and respond to every situation that you face during your lifetime. While movements come and go, you truly are the timeless presence in which everything arises and dissolves. And as a way of beginning, you may enjoy taking a few moments now to readjust your body so that you're five to 10% more comfortable and are ready to enter into deep meditation and self-inquiry. Everything is a pointer to your authentic ground of being or presence, which is always awake and knows the perfect response to every situation. For this reason, we affirm the following resolve as we enter into the practice of Yoga Nidra. I am awake, I am aware, and I welcome every perception as a messenger that is guiding me home to my authentic ground of being. Now feel and affirm this resolve as your own as you quietly repeat it once more through my words. I am awake, I am aware, and I welcome every perception as a messenger that is guiding me home to my authentic ground of being. And take a moment to find and affirm a heartfelt prayer that lives inside you right now. A prayer for a friend, a loved one, the world, or yourself. For health, healing, or enlightenment. But affirm this statement in the present tense as a fact of truth which you'll affirm again at the end of this practice. And be aware of your entire body, the body as a radiance of sensation. Be aware of the mouth, sensations in the tongue and the mouth. Inside the ears, and the outer architecture of each ear. The cheeks, the nose, and the feeling sensation of breath as it passes in and out through the nostrils. The eyes, feel the eyes as orbs of radiant sensation. the forehead, the scalp, back of the head, and the back of the neck. And sense once again the eyes, sensation, perhaps even a sense of pulsation. 
following it all the way inside the head, the inner contents of the head, the brain, pure sensation. The entire head, mouth, ears, nose, eyes, scalp, inside the head, the entire head as an orb of radiant sensation, the throat, be aware of the shoulders, the arms, and be aware of the palms of the hands, the palms of the hands as radiance, vibrant pulsation, even a throbbing. Feel the hands throbbing as a vibrant, radiant sensation. Both arms simultaneously. The throat. The chest. Feel the chest and upper back as radiant sensation. Abdomen and the back, side walls of the abdomen. The entire abdomen as an orb of radiant sensation. Pelvis, be spontaneously drawn to sensations as they appear in awareness in the pelvis. Feel the legs, sensation from the hips, through the knees, into the feet, feeling both legs simultaneously, radiance of sensation, and feel the whole body as a radiance of sensation. Note the body breathing itself, the coming and going of the breath. And feel yourself join in to the breath and its flow, like you are stepping into a stream and flowing moment to moment with the breath. All the way to the top of the inhalation, all the way to the end of the exhalation. Feel the breath like you would be flowing with a Ferris wheel all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. And ride the breath all the way to the top of the Ferris wheel and feel how the whole body participates in this moment of transition, of inhalation to exhalation and flowing with the breath all the way to the bottom of the Ferris wheel. And again, feel how the entire body participates in this moment of transition from exhalation to inhalation. At the top of the inhalation and at the bottom of the exhalation, there may be spontaneous moments where the breath stops completely. Feel the whole body engage this moment of transition. The body as sensation, as energy, the moment to moment flow of the breath. And feel sensations of heaviness in your body. Feel the surface that the body is on. Let it completely be taken by this surface. Feel the body heavy. Sensations of density or earth, the earth element. Solid, foundation, heavy. And feel their opposites of sensations of lightness. 
when you feel very light and this sensation of heaviness and sensations when you feel the ground underneath you where you feel trust, foundation, you feel safe and secure. And note sensations when you feel ungrounded, very light, perhaps a lack of stability, or where you felt untrusting, or a lack of security, where these feelings come in your body. Feelings of safety, ground, feelings of insecurity or ungroundedness. Can you welcome both experiences into awareness simultaneously? And feel again the whole body and all these sensations or feelings that are present and the movement of breath, the abdomen rising and falling, feeling of energy in your body and feel the pelvis sensations of sensuality or pleasure. What's it like when you feel very pleasurable or sensual or sexual, very potent and alive? Where are these feelings in the body? And what about when you feel very powerless or impotent or ashamed or guilty? even exhausted or numb, where do these feelings come in the body? Feelings of sensuality, pleasure, potency, aliveness, and feelings of powerless or shame or guilt. Just note these two opposites of feeling in your body. Let them arise without any refusing like you are a welcoming in which these can move in spontaneously. And can you feel sensations of warmth or coolness in your body? Allowing these to be present just as they are. And feel your solar plexus, the area around your upper abdomen. What's it like when you feel very powerful, vital and capable, very energetically alive or even willfully asserting yourself into the world, a sense of trusting yourself and your power in the world? And what's it like when you feel disconnected, incapable or confused? where you feel disconnected or untrusting of yourself or another. And move between these two opposites of feeling and emotion, where you feel very powerful and potent, when you feel vital and capable and alive, moving into the world with your whole body, and when you feel confused or collapsed or disconnected from yourself, untrusting, can you move between these two opposites of feeling and emotion for a moment? Sensations of warmth, fire, when you feel very fiery or alive and potent, and when you felt very cool or disconnected. And allow these feelings to be arising in your awareness as if you're a welcoming, a spacious openness in which all of these feelings can come and go, neither trying to hold on or push them away. 
and feel your way up into your chest, into the heart center. This sense of love or compassion that comes when we feel the heart vitally open and alive. When we feel very open, loving, compassionate. Even remember memories or times when you have felt very loving. Remember a friend or a lover or a child who you feel very loving and open to. Let these feelings of gratitude or loving kindness just flood in for a moment. Where do you feel these in your body when they're present? And their opposites, when you feel contracted, judgmental, unloving, unaccepting, even self-hateful or unlovable, alienated. Where do these kinds of emotions live in your body? Can you allow them to come in without any refusing, without any rejecting or pushing them away? And move between these two opposites of emotion and feeling. When you feel very loving, open-hearted, full of gratitude or compassion. And when you feel very unloving, ungrateful, judgmental towards yourself or another. Feeling the heart feeling the touch of the air on your skin, how spacious you can feel and open when the heart is warm and open and loving, how closed you can feel when it feels contracted or unloving and unkind. Can you welcome all of these feelings into awareness? For a moment, Step back a little bit as if you're the awareness or you're the space in which all of these feelings are arising. Step into the feelings and feel them. Step back and be aware of them. Sense the difference between stepping in and really feeling yourself as what you're experiencing, and then stepping back a bit, being aware of what you're feeling. And be aware of your ears, sounds that may be coming in from outside or inner sounds, feeling in your throat. And what's it like when you feel constricted or tight, when your throat feels tight and you don't have the ability to speak up? And what about when your throat feels very open and spacious, when you feel very authentic in your communication, very congruent in your thoughts, in your speech, and in your actions? What's it like when you feel capable of being very visible, being seen by yourself and others? And when you feel very inauthentic or dishonest or incongruent in your thoughts and speech and actions? Move between these opposites for a moment, where you feel very authentic and open, honest, congruent. And when you're not, when you feel inauthentic, dishonest, incongruent, where this feels in your body. Can you allow all of these feelings and emotions to be present, stepping into them, and then stepping out a bit, being aware of them? Stepping in, really feeling yourself one with them, not separate. Then stepping out a bit, being aware of them as movements 
in your awareness. And what's it like when you feel very clear, when your mind is crystal clear, when you feel very intuitive and open? And it's opposite when you feel confused or foggy, lost or bewildered, when your mind feels unclear, unfocused. Can you move between these two states of consciousness? Perhaps remember a time when you feel very clear and open, clarity of mind, and another time when you've felt very lost or bewildered, foggy or unclear. Move between these two opposites of feeling and emotion. Can you allow these to be arising in awareness? Just spontaneously they come. Feel yourself as an openness of welcoming. No pushing away, no holding on. And whatever is present in this moment, can you step fully into your experience? If you're feeling very clear, then I'm clear. Or if you're feeling bewildered, I'm bewildered. If you're feeling really relaxed and calm, I'm relaxed and calm. Or if there's discomfort, I'm uncomfortable really stepping into the experience of this moment. And then step back from it, be aware of it. Feelings of discomfort are present. A sense of bewilderment or fogginess is present. The feeling of clarity or relaxation is present. Step into your experience and then step out. Feel yourself as the awareness in which these emotions, feelings, body sensations are coming and going. Can you remember a time when you were with a friend or a lover or a child where you felt very spacious and open towards them, very loving, very warm. Let the memory come and give up the memory and just let the feelings live in you for a moment. And then find another situation, another memory where you're with a friend or a lover or a child and you feel very contracted, very closed, reactive, perhaps angry or upset. Feel this? Can you feel where this lives in your body? And just open for a moment to let them be present. Step out, step back. Feel how they're arising too in your awareness. And just for a few moments, step into any experience, any memory, let it arise, reactive, judgmental, kind, loving, step in, really feel the body participating, then set whatever is present free and feel yourself as the awareness in which it's arising. And can you turn your attention for a moment into awareness itself? like a spacious openness that's welcoming and inviting. It welcomes both feelings of peace, clarity, and feelings of upset or anger. Awareness like space doesn't discriminate one against the other, 
pushing this away and only wanting this. Can you feel yourself as this quality of welcoming? Neither pushing away or holding on to each experience as it comes, lives for a while, and then dissolves. Feeling yourself as a sense of being or presence in which everything is coming and going. With no fear of stepping fully into your experience, step into it. Awareness is still here, holding it, caressing it. Then step back into awareness. Feel yourself as the caress or that which is holding all of these movements that are happening inside and outside, thoughts, feelings, sensations, sounds, sights around you or inside you. And for a moment, can you let this I thought that attaches itself to every sensation or feeling arise for a moment? Whatever is moving through you, a thought, or an emotion, or a sensation, can you attach the I thought to it? I'm hungry. I'm uncomfortable. I'm relaxed. I'm seeing this, or I'm sensing that. See how the I is attached almost every thought that arises, every feeling, every sensorial perception. And can you feel this I thought? Just feel it in your mind at first and then feel it dropping through your throat into your heart. And you feel from your heart for a moment. Let the I thought just dissolve in the heart and set whatever it is attached to free. If I'm hungry, can I let the I thought dissolve for a moment in the heart and just let hunger be present? If I'm uncomfortable, can I let the I thought dissolve and just let discomfort be present? Set whatever you're feeling or perceiving free and feel yourself as the heart of openness in which all these thoughts and feelings are coming and going. Can you feel a sense of utter letting go into a feeling of nothing to do in this moment? Everything feels complete. And its opposite may also be true, things to do, things to complete. But this sense that nothing that I do or complete will make me any better than I am. And if its opposite shows up, which is I need to do to be better, let that come too. Let both be present. Nothing that I need to do or some things that I need to do. And feel yourself aware of these movements of feeling or belief sense of being, the awareness in which it's arising. Can you feel for a moment that there's nothing I need to know? I can just be here in this moment. And if the opposite arises, there's something I need to know, some piece of information I need to get, let that be here too. 
nothing I need to know, something I may need to know. And feel yourself as the awareness in which these two are arising. Nothing I need to know that makes me any more better than I am. And things that I still may need to know. Nothing to do. Nothing to know. Just a sense of this present moment, timeless and open. A sense of spaciousness in which their opposites may arise, contraction or a sense of time, past, future. But this sense of awareness that is timeless, open, welcoming. Everything that is arising, it is meeting, greeting, welcoming. And in a moment, perhaps with an inhalation, let your eyes open. Let the world of light and color flood in. And then during an exhalation, let your eyes close. Sense the inner world of light and color, sound or sensations. And several times, let your eyes open, feel the world outside, let your eyes close, sense the world inside. And sense yourself as the awareness, so that as the eyes open, feel yourself as the awareness in which the entire world is appearing, and when your eyes close, feel all the internal sensory perceptions of thought, images, sensations, but how you're the awareness in which they're arising as well. Eyes open, eyes closed. Lots of things coming and going. But sense yourself as this unchanging awareness in which everything is coming and going. And at some point, your heartfelt prayer may spontaneously reemerge a prayer towards yourself or a friend, towards the world, a prayer for your own enlightenment or the health or healing of yourself or another. But feel it as an already accomplished fact. I am whole and healthy in this moment. My friend is whole, healed, and healthy. Or as awareness, as openness itself, this is my enlightenment. Don't hold your prayers for the future, but feel them right now in this moment as actual accomplished facts, truth. And in a few moments, when the eyes open and you move back into the world, feel how all the world wakes up in you. Just like in the morning when you wake up from sleep, the eyes open and the world reappears in your awareness. Just like when you go to sleep at night and the eyes close, the inner world opens up of dreams in your awareness. Every once in a while during your waking life, step back from what's happening. Set it free to be just as it is. Feel yourself as this unchanging presence that you truly are, in which everything is appearing and dissolving. This is the practice of Yoga Nidra in life. Take it with you now into your life moment to moment, or every once in a while you just remember yourself as this openness of awareness in which all of these movements are arising and watch how awareness always knows the exact and perfect response to every situation. Thank you. <laughs>